How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today is going to be a follow-up on Bunny Day. We've officially collected all 41 items within the entire event and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it. So thanks so much for watching. Now, speaking of which, if you guys didn't already see our part one of how exactly to get everything, how to get all the eggs, how to get some DIY recipes, definitely take a look at it. This is going to be linked in the description and the info card. And I did notice that you guys hit over 4,000 likes on the video. You guys are awesome. I love it so much. Truly, thank you for that. All right, so this video is gonna be divided up into a couple parts. First off, we're going to show you guys what exactly happens on Bunny Day, which is the last day of the event on April 12th. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get the missing DIY recipes on the very last day. We'll show you guys every single one of the 41 recipes within the entire event so that you guys know what to prepare for. And of course, I'm gonna take all these items on screen over here and I'm gonna showcase every single one of them inside my house so you guys can get some ideas on how to decorate. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So as you guys can see, April 12th is going to be the last day of Bunny Day, and Mr. Zipper T. Bunny comes out here one more time and greets you with some hippity hoppity nonsense. Now, as soon as you talk to him, he will give you the missing DIY, which is going to be the little arch. That's kind of cool. It looks great. I love the fact that he gives it to you right then and there. So learn the recipe and then go craft it immediately. Now, once you're done crafting that, you can actually go talk to him again. Now, he'll give you a couple options this time around. The options are to show him one of every egg in order to get another recipe, or if you're missing some of the eggs, you can indeed exchange other common eggs for some rare eggs. Now, I highly suggest doing this, especially because if this is the last day of the event and you haven't had a lot of time to play it, but maybe you logged in and you chopped up all your trees and you got like hundreds of wood eggs, which is the most common egg, you can exchange them three for one, which is great. So if you don't really like fishing or if you don't like hitting rocks or visiting Nook Miles Islands for all that stuff, you can just give him three wood egg for any egg that you want, which is a great deal, by the way. So do that, sell him all the wood eggs, go from there. Now, his first option, I talked to you guys a little bit earlier, was more along the lines of exchanging one of every egg for a specific item. Once you hand over all those eggs, he will give you an egg basket, which is not something that's a DIY recipe. It's just a flat out item that you can easily put within your house. If you guys have been playing along with me on my live streams and knowing the other things and how to do everything in the in the first part of the video, you have everything. Now, it doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily need to have crafted all the clothing items because there is about 22 clothing items in the game. You don't have to craft those, but you do have to craft the previous furniture ones. So getting those DIY recipes is going to be a little bit of a bother. But once you've crafted them all, then talk to him one more time. He'll say, yo, Heads up, you crafted all of this furniture, no way, good job. Here, take this DIY recipe for a zipper toy. And the zipper toy is like a little bobblehead thing, so and it looks just like him, which is kind of cute, right? It's something like an end game kind of trophy. So anyway, learn the DIY recipe, go to a bench, make that thing. It's a little costly on eggs, but you know, like I said earlier, if you don't have the eggs, then go exchange for them. And then once you show him the crafted zipper toy, He'll say, hey, you know what? This is the end of the line. You've done it. Here we go. Have this awesome bunny day wand, which is going to be the end game trophy. That's it, the end. Now, if you take a look at the ingredients that you need in order to craft the bunny wand, it's going to require that newly made zipper toy and a couple star fragments. Now, I'm working hard right now on a star fragments tutorial, but pretty much wishing upon a star and then checking the beach the next day in order to find those star fragments. So good luck with that. Anyway, moving on. So you can make the bunny wand and once you have the bunny wand, that's it. Bunny day is absolutely over. So now that bunny day is over with and you have 19 different non-clothing items and 22 clothing items in the game for a total of 41 items. That's amazing, I love it. So now all of these items right over here, we are going to put them all around the house. We've got the arch, we've got all the furniture pieces, every single clothing items, and of course the things that I can't show you guys on the lawn over here. So uh, before we do that, I'm gonna give you guys all the recipes for everything. Now, uh, just so you guys have an idea of what exactly the recipes are. So we're gonna cut to that. And then uh, once we're done showing off those recipes, I'm going to get you guys right into my house and you guys are gonna see the full ensemble. It's gonna be great. Thank you. 
Okay, ladies and gents, the grand unveiling of the entire set, all 41 pieces and then some, of the Bunny Day items. Taking a look around, this is exactly how I kind of laid it out in my town here, in my little house. It looks great. I think that there's a lot of cool colors. It's very festive for the upcoming Easter season, in case any of you guys celebrate that. There's just a lot of awesome pieces of furniture. And I took it a step further and I color coordinated every single outfit as well. So you can see the water ones, the earth ones, all the elementals, they're absolutely here. And not only did I do that, I put the cherries on top by sprinkling one of every egg just on the floor underneath it. So sky egg looking cool. We've got the stone eggs, the leaf eggs, and the other elementals. So what's great about this is that the little zipper toy bounces back and forth and it makes like a boing sound. That's kind of cool. Uh, you'll also notice that it is on the table. I would highly recommend making a couple more of the tables simply because you don't really want to throw things on the ground on in your room. That's just not good feng shui. Uh, same thing like with this basket over here. Maybe the basket can go on the ground, but I would definitely say maybe throwing it on the table, especially the wand. Like the wand is kind of cool. You want to put that on a table. But yeah, this is exactly how I laid out. This is my upstairs, by the way. So if I want to just think about Easter and Bunny Day, all I have to do is just close my eyes and roll over and then fall asleep. And then that's exactly what's going to happen here. And I'll wake up and I'll look in the mirror and then I could change my haircut if I really wanted to. So that's great. I, I like this a lot. You can change your, uh, your looks with the vanity out here. If you want to change your outfit, you can click right over here and take a look at all of your clothing items. And you'll also notice that on the side, I did indeed put uh, the very cool festive crown on top. And you've got the backpack and then the little dress over here. Pretty awesome. And then you also have this little lamp. And in case I want to uh, take a look out the window, I can easily just kind of sit here and just say, Hey, what's everyone doing out there? You guys finding any more eggs? How about those DIY recipes? Oh, you missed the balloon. <laughs> anyway, um, one of the last things that I do want to show you is that there is indeed a, uh, a little like a string light. You can see that on top right over here, the little string lights. I would highly recommend grabbing multiples of those because that's just one unit. And you can see that if you choose to grab things for the walls, you can see that this one is totally feeling lonely over here. You want to you wanna be able to string out the entire room all the way across. I think that would just look really cool. So anyway, guys, that's a little bit of a showcase of what the items look like in your house. There is what the rug looks like. Rug looks really cute. I think that the wallpaper looks fun. There's like little bunny shapes there. The flooring looks good. I think overall, I think they did a great job with it. I, I can't be any happier with how this event was. So overall, the event probably about three and a half to four hours in order, in order to collect everything, uh, especially fishing for all the eggs, shooting everything out of the sky, all that stuff. I just think it looked absolutely outstanding. So guys, that's it for the tutorial video. Hopefully you guys can get every single one of these items before Bunny Day ends. And like I said before, if you guys are more fans of a customized gameplay, you don't have to worry about the time running out. Just mess around with your system settings and uh, play the game how you want to play it. So anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. As you guys know, we are on our way to 1 million subscribers. I know we can hit it with your help and support. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to join the Abdallah Nation. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything. Just hit that red button. Join us. Look at that. 661,000. That is amazing. So thanks so much for all of that. Uh, if you guys want to take it a step further and become a member on my channel, like Shining Gem 31 over here, feel free to click on that join button on my main channel page. If you guys want to talk about Animal Crossing with the rest of our community members, discord.gg slash Abdallah. But that's it. Good luck with your egg hunts. Let me know in the comments what you guys made within all of your furniture items. I can't wait to see that. And if you guys have some cool pictures of your layouts, feel free to tweet them at me at Abdallah Nation. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.